It's only by God that all these things happen. Man cannot do it. But God did it. So let us appreciate him. Let us acknowledge his glorious power. For him alone is God. Just appreciate him. Give him glory, give him glory. Yele baba baba ba yando robos. Mafia ko robos sekti baga sai. Me la garia dos kenda la baba skin baraba sekti baga sai. Zele baba 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 baba. Zele baba 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 baba. Yia gaba skin da nababas. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise and glory. Give him praise and glory. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeta paski ba kaski ba labas. Conference participants press one. To mute, all participants are muted, and they can unmute them. To start conference recording, press one. The recording has started. So lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Continue to thank Him. Continue to glorify His name. Yata mari masaka ba zingla barabas. Manta la babos kim brana gabado se kurima santa la babas. Man kale brana gados en faya ba diski karaba zektoyaba. Zema la anka ebas kontoro babos. Palekrai badoski ma santa la babos. Meso wadiaka brononos avanika badia. Negla barobo zete ba ae zalababoski. Ve kababoski bla nagadan sanibania. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Continue to give him praise this morning. Because he has given you life and allow you to escape every trouble. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory to the Father. Hallelujah, glory, glory to the Father. Hallelujah, glory, glory to the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to the Father, hallelujah, glory, glory.
glory to the Father. Hallelujah, glory. I say glory to the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I say glory, glory. Oh, glory to the Father. Hallelujah, glory. Glory to the Father. Hallelujah, glory. I say glory to the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we are going to read Psalm 73. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 73. 73, that is... Where we're going to read and lay a foundation of prayer this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to open your scriptures to Psalm chapter 73. And I read, the Bible says, Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold. For I envied the arrogant. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, they have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They are free from common human burdens. They are not plagued, plagued by human ills. Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. From their callous hearts comes iniquity. Their evil imaginations have no limit. They scoff and speak with malice. With arrogance, they threaten, they threaten oppressions. Their mouths lay claims to heaven, and their tongues take possession of the earth. Therefore, their people turn to them and drink up waters in abundance. They say, how would God know? Does the Most High know anything? This is what the wicked are like, always free of care. They go on amassing wealth. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure and have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been afflicted, and every morning brings new punishment. If I had spoken out like that, I would have betrayed your children. When I tried to understand all this, it troubled me deeply. Till I entered the sanctuary of God, then I understood their final destiny. Surely you place them on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruin. How suddenly are they destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. They are like dream when one awakes. When you arise, Lord, you will despise them as fantasies. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was brute beast before you. Yes, I'm always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? The earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart. My portion forever. Those who are far from you will perish. You will destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell you of all your deeds. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to pay attention. We have only a few minutes. But with these scriptures, I want to encourage 
all those who sit and think deeply that the Lord blesses the wicked. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to analyze to you what blessings are. Blessings is not attached to money and wealth. Hallelujah. Anybody can amass wealth. Anybody can amass um, uh, money and get so much houses, so much money. God is not interested in that. And that's why I encourage you not to rejoice when you have seven cars and 50 houses and probably one million fields of chicken, cow, or everything. In fact, you have so much that your money becomes uncountable. Your wealth cannot even be measured. Hallelujah. All those things are good. They are good. Hallelujah. But after this world, that is the end of it. They are momentarily good. Hallelujah. I want you to put it that way and write it down. All wealth and money are momentarily good. Hallelujah. At the moment. So it means they are, they are limited. They are just temporary. They are not permanent. Hallelujah. Of course, we know that I've seen people that have so much money. And after a few years, you don't hear their name anymore. In fact, some of them, they will show you on the street of New York, for instance, taking drugs and homeless. Hallelujah. Just to tell you that money has its value and respect under heaven. Hallelujah. We're talking about the blessings, the blessings of God. You don't attach it. The blessings of God is what David discovered. The Bible said he was so envious about the wicked. He said, look at how their body looks. They look so healthy and nice. They look so wonderful. And I'm troubling myself all day to be good, to be nice. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've seen people, I've had people, many people. They call me and they begin to complain. They say, Pastor, I've been so nice to this person. I've been so good. I try my best. I do everything. But look at what he paid me with. Hallelujah. It doesn't really matter. Hallelujah. We are good. We are doing good and trusting God. Anytime you begin to do good and trust your human strength, you are going to fail. And trust people around you, you are going to fail. You are doing it because... God sent you to do it. Regardless of how the people take it, whether they embrace it, or whether they rejected you after all, and kick you out, or whether they decided that whatever good you did shall be a dust. I don't care. It doesn't really matter. All is about God. Now, David began to envy the wicked because they are so arrogant. The Bible said, he said, when I saw their prosperity, they have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy. I work so hard. I walk from north to the south, doing two jobs, three jobs, just to pay one bill. And somebody is sitting down and all the money is coming and is directing on how to use it and keep on amassing the wealth. Even if it means killing everybody just to make the wealth, they keep on doing that. They don't really care. The Bible says they have no struggles. They are free from common human burdens. Common bills, they are free from that. Hallelujah. You know, there is a place where someone will have so much money, bills will not be his problem anymore. In fact, he doesn't even see his money. He directs. He just make a call and 10 million will just come in. Hallelujah. Just a common call. And you are struggling day and night to save $100 to pay your life bill. Hallelujah. And some people are making it. And then when you take a stock, they're not even Christians. Hallelujah. They don't even pray. They have no respect to God. They have nothing about God in them. They are murderers. They don't care. But look at. David says they are free from common human bodies. 
They are not plagued like human ills. They don't even have coronavirus. You wonder, all this coronavirus that is killing everybody, they don't even have it. They don't even mention it. They are strong and healthy. Hallelujah. Therefore, pride becomes their necklace because they know how to maneuver the way. They clothe themselves with violence. They can kill any time. They can destroy a city. They don't really care. From their callous heart comes iniquity. Their evil imaginations has no limit. They keep on imagining evil. Before they go to sleep every night, they will imagine evil and they make it happen. They scoff and speak malice with arrogance. They threaten, they threaten oppressions. Their mouth lay claim to heaven and their tongue take possession of the earth. Therefore, their pride turned to them like drinking water in abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They say, how would God know? Does the most I know anything? This is what the wicked are like. Always free of care. They go on amassing wealth. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure. And I have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been afflicted. And every morning brings new punishment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you are in that position where you are complaining. Every morning, from one punishment to another. Hallelujah. With all the fasting, you finish fasting for 40 days, another heavy punishment landed on your head. You finish fasting for, for 150 days. Oh my God, it's like hell is on loose. A glory to God. But I'm telling you this morning... That you are not the only person that have asked this question. But there is an answer to it. He said, my, my, if I had spoken out like that, I would have been betrayed your children. Hallelujah. If as a pastor, I begin to call you and begin to complain how hungry I am, how I am so much burdened. I, can't, I don't even have a place to sleep. I don't even have nothing to offer, nothing. Everything is gone. Oh my God, my bill, everything. I call you and complain. The Bible says people would have been discouraged. They would have been saying, but we are praying. So what's happening? It happened to the psalmist. It happened to David. He said, surely you place them on a slippery ground. When I enter the sanctuary, I began to understand that they are in deep trouble. With all they have, they are on a slippery ground. Hallelujah. You cast them down to ruin. How suddenly they are destroyed completely, swept away by terrors. They are like dream. When one awake, when you arise, Lord, you will despise them as fantasies. Hallelujah. You won't even remember them anymore because of how God has dealt with them. Hallelujah. Don't go that way. Don't begin to think that God is not real or is, is wasting time. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, one time, a man was having a problem with one another. And he went and called the police. Hallelujah. And began to make trouble. I said, but this is your brother. I mean, we need to leave everything to God. He said, no, because God might take some time to come, you know. So I had to act quickly. Glory to God. This is human sense. We cannot equate God with anything. When you are in trouble, just remember, the Bible said, David said, when I enter the sanctuary, it's only in the sanctuary of God that you will begin to understand the end of the wicked. You will not understand it by watching TV or probably understand it on the street because you see some fantastic things, some some seducing things that will make your heart bleed. And you say, oh my God, I can't even drive a good car that runs smooth. And look at these people. 
amassing wealth. We're not talking about how am I going to pay my 1,500 B of house rent. They are talking about 1.7 billion, how they are going to give it to their friend. A man came out on the television one day and was bragging so much of how he makes a million dollars every day. The least he can make. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was showing off. He said, oh, my watch is 18 million. And my necklace is 1.5 million. Now, I want you to, when you look at it, you say, but I'm trying. I'm doing everything. But the Bible says, when that man lacks God, do you know what happens? His way is slippery. Suddenly, he'll be swept away. And their own God is their belly. Their own God is the money. That's the only thing they have. Glory to God. We're going to pray. Now, am I totally destroying wealth? No. But I'm saying that you should not put your heart or measure the blessings of God with how much money you have. No. The blessings of God is deeper than that. When a man is blessed, the mercies of God rest upon him. When others are going through some sufferings, God make you to escape. You never wonder why coronavirus attack you and never kill you. Hallelujah. But some other people, just one day, the next day they are gone. God just allow it as judgment to clean the world at a point. You need to know that God is with you. Stop panicking. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to give you glory and praise. We want to thank you this morning. Just raise your hand wherever you are. Begin to give God glory. Say, Lord, I thank you this morning for these words. I thank you for giving me protection. I thank you for answering me, oh God. There is somebody here who has been asking this deep question. Why am I suffering? Why am I going through this? It's just for a while. It's just for a while. God is coming through for you. Hallelujah. This season. Hallelujah. This season. You have sown some seed. You have prayed. You have done this. But watch what God is doing. In a space of seven weeks from now. You will be glad. You will be wondering how did it happen. God is amazing. He is going to surprise you. He is going to make you smile again. Smile. Deep smiling. Deep laughing because God has done it. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The man from God. Hallelujah. Just the man from God. Say Lord I give you glory. I give you praise. I Ask for your protection this morning. Hallelujah. Decree the blood of Jesus seven times. And the Holy Ghost fire seven times. I begin to pray. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent. Makavelo brantolobobos. Rabba king kaba zeporama sakaya. Jebra makove em pala koko za em preneke. Rabba dadeyan kaba o koko zamalihi kagos. Provele gadiana kam pruma santre bagayi. La brenege de gede 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 Manto em belekeke zamu kafiamo talaba. Rati barumo so prenegadia. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give you glory, Lord. I give you praise, Lord. I give you thanks, mighty God. Thank you for answering us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to pray this morning. Anything that will shift your heart. Anything that will make you to have double-mindedness. That will make your heart wavery. Any satanic forces that is interested in shifting your heart. In making your mind feeble and wibble. 
that the power of God will destroy them right now and frustrate the tokens of the wicked, the tokens of liars. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare and pray, Holy Ghost fire, 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 in Jesus' mighty name, the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the precious blood of Jesus Christ, oh God arise, let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent. My Calveno Brent all over us. We dissolve every powers that is attacking our mind. Every powers that makes our mind weak. Every powers that makes our mind feeble. We dissolve them this morning. We destroy them. Akaman Skevanoto Bele Krabosh in Fenekaya. Lobrenegedians on Patani. Lonriga Vipam Pobos in Tegedis. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. There is somebody on this prayer line that is having heart problem. Your heart is beating fast and palpitating. Hallelujah. You're even afraid that you're going to have heart attack. I want you to lay your hand on that side of your heart right now as we decree healing. Hallelujah. Anyone that is having any kind of sickness, somebody with a neck pain, put your hand right there. Somebody with a waist pain, put your right hand right there. Hallelujah. Any kind of terminal disease, let the power of God heal you right now. Mighty God, I stand as you have released this anointing of healing this morning. I command that it flow. Let it flow to everyone under the sound of my voice right now. Even those that will listen as they're listening, let your anointing fall. Let your glory fall upon them. Mighty God, and set them free. Let this healing power begin to expand. Extend to everyone under the spiritual zone. And everyone that hears my voice right now, let the healing power touch you. Heal you from that neck pain. Heal you from that heartbeat, heart pain. Epamos, orobos, atiagamos. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. I cover your going out. I cover your coming in as you're driving home this morning. The blood of Jesus Christ cover you. As you're going out, the blood of Jesus Christ cover you. I cover you. I cover your children. Cover your business, cover your household. No accident of any kind. No fire accident at home, no car accident. You shall hit nobody and nobody will hit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Cover you, cover your children, wherever they may be. Cover your grandchildren, wherever they may be. Let the glory of God cover you. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And I'll talk to you by this time tomorrow. Bye bye. To mute conference participants, press 1. All participants are unmuted. To stop conference recording, press 1. This session is no longer being recorded. <laughs>